All right, guys, I'm gonna show you how a mold change takes place on this uh, automatic machine. Pretty straightforward deal. Basically four fasteners hold uh, the mold mount plate to each side. And then the mold plate mounts to that. So there's the mold, and this is what I refer to the mold mount plate. I'll get the other half off here. There's the other one. We'll move over to the workbench here and show you guys how we install fresh mold. All right, now we got the molds over here at the workbench. So pretty uh, straightforward as far as what we got going on. This would be the mold, uh, A side, B side. And this is the mold that we'll be swapping out to. It's my bigger half inch mold. Yeah, basically, uh, I got, I had a couple extra fastener holes there found out to be just unnecessary, so I don't use them. Um, so we'll just pop these screws out here. Swap the molds. So you can kind of see it springs upward. And the idea behind that is sort of there's a an installed height um, of the spring. And basically you want to still be under ten spring tension when you are um, in the rest position. That way, you know, the springs want to pull back to the rest state and they don't they still have spring tension towards the end, if that makes sense. So we'll install this mold half here. And so I've already set up my pins and these, so they all, I'm just verifying that they're in good shape before I go and install them in. We'll do another video on mold design and pin and pin placement. And uh, I'll show you my whole work process. I actually have to build another one of these 3 8 molds. This is one of my early molds before I had a, uh, a good CNC machine. So surface finish is not to the quality we need. Um, so I'm going to build that, and so you guys should be seeing a video on that uh, pretty soon here. Kind of designed it that way so the mold switch outs are uh, not not a hassle so we'll go put it back in get it lined up and we'll start running this uh, this mold here so I got the two mold sides back installed uh, finger tight so these molds are they still move around a little bit that way we can get them lined up true with their dowel pins and so now a little bit of air We'll bring this clamp closed manually. And usually, 
usually they're pretty close to where they line up good. And so that's about good there. Slid together. Nice and easy. And so we'll crank them down. So I can get to the rest of the fastener. We'll do a little verification, not that they're snug, nice and smooth. All right, so if you haven't, no, you might not be able to see our clamp is not coming down all the way because this mold's a little bit thicker. And that right there will cause the mold to flash out. All right, so we're gonna go into adjusting this guy to be nice and parallel when it's down. Loosen up these back bolts back here. We need to let it make it a little bit bigger in size because that mold's a little bit. So there's a couple fasteners down here for this mounting bracket to allow it to slide. Break all these loose. And so I'll try to keep it, I know that I'm level now when these come together, so they're not one side, what top's not pushing or side or one post isn't having the tension. So I try to keep my turns consistent through all of them as I wheel them back. That way I don't have to realign uh, the mold faces together. So we'll do Half turn, half turn, half turn, half turn. Might be a little tedious. And so that pushes, it's probably a little bit tighter than I'd like. You can kind of see it bang down. We're gonna go quarter turn, quarter turn, quarter turn, quarter turn. Yeah. So that little hesitation and drop, I found that to be a pretty good um, area. So what we'll do is we'll tighten up these back ones here. And then what I like to do is I like to tighten them um, um, this way so that way I'm not driving it back that way. Just a little snug on each side. Give her one more test shot. All right. So now she's coming down nice and level. And so that is uh, just about perfect. So that gives me all the force I need to do uh, that particular mold and all the other ones. So just a little bit of resistance. You can look really closely. I like to put like a dial indicator on it. You can see this plate will actually start to bow out. And I would imagine we're already getting stretched on um, these rods, but I don't have any issues with flashing. It works pretty good. I will, uh, Next video will probably be making a mold because I have to make that 3 8 so stay tuned if you guys want to see how I go through my entire process of making a mold. Uh, it usually takes me about eh, about a day, maybe two days, depending on when I start. So I'll uh, try to document that entire process and you can watch me 
uh, make a mold on my Tormach. Thanks, guys.